Hey guys, it's John Olympian Exotics here. Um, I'm sure it's been covered in a lot of other videos, but I just wanted to address the idea for uh, newer people of why it might not be the best idea to go for panda pides or uh, gray matters. So I did in fact go for a gray matter um, and I had a lot of bad luck. I've never actually gone for panda pides because I don't have any cinnamon pides just sitting around that I don't think could do something better. Um, but I do have a pastel cinnamon Mojave champagne male that I have and I have black pewters and stuff like that floating around. So the reason why I would strongly advise against it is the super cinnamons, black pastel cinnamons, black super black pastels, all that kind of stuff has significant kinking issues as well as just other uh, mouth issues as you can see with this guy right here. So I will go ahead and tell you the pairing on this. This is from a black pewter female, so a black pastel pastel female to a pastel cinnamon Mojave champagne. I also I did two of these pairings with the same male, different females. Um, one of the clutches, every single baby was completely kinked and died. They were all really cool looking, but they didn't make it out of the egg. So that is one of the big disadvantages to going that route. The other one, I believe I got six eggs. Um, four of them didn't make it out of the egg, and two of them did make it out of the egg. One was fine. I believe it was just like a cinnamon or something like that, nothing fancy. And then this was the other guy that made it out of the egg. So this guy is what has what's called a cleft palate. So as you can see, his mouth is not properly developed. His lip is missing a chunk. Um, and you can see there's some malformation of the overall skull structure as well, which is extremely common in the um, super cinnamons and super black pastels and eight balls, all that kind of stuff. So an eight ball is a black pastel cinnamon, for those that don't know. Um, this guy I was able to save, and obviously I didn't sell him because I don't really like to sell animals that aren't perfect and everything. Um, and I wasn't sure if he was going to eat consistently or if he had any other internal organ issues and stuff like that. Because obviously if there's stuff going wrong like kinks on the outside, there's plenty of chance for there to be organ issues and internal stuff that you can't see going on. Because, you know, that happens all the time with ball python morphs and other morphs of different species. Um, but anyhow, this guy is doing good now. Um, as you can see, he's got some really cool colors. I believe this is a pastel cinnamon, what would it be? Pastel cinnamon, black pastel, Mojave. It could be a super pastel as well because there's pastel on both sides. I don't believe it has the champagne on it or else I think it would have the ringers and that would make it a, uh, a like a gray matter kind of thing. Um, but I believe this has the absence of that so yeah so what did i say black pastel cinnamon mojave pastel and possible super pastel um, it doesn't really matter i'm not planning to breed him or anything he's just a pet for me mostly i was just seeing if he would even survive i think i may have a cis fed him a couple times but i don't even remember he may have just eaten straight off the bed on his own um, but he is definitely eating on his own now and honestly it is kind of cute to watch the little tongue stick out of his nose but obviously not something that we want to aim for so for beginners there's going to be a lot of losses in your clutches if you're going for the super cinnamons or black pastel cinnamons or super black pastels anything like that especially combined with other genes in the involved in there because the more genetics you got in there the more line breeding you've basically done and that means that the genetic variation is even less which obviously is going to increase the chance of um recessive genetic malformations you know stuff like that like you know what i mean um so other stuff that could go wrong besides just the known linked uh, issues with those just those genes um but yeah so i would advise against not those uh panda pies and those gray matters the reason why they've held value so much and for so long is because there is a lot of loss involved and not many people go for them because of that loss so if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to hit the panda pied, there's probably at least a 50% chance that if you do hit a panda pied, it's going to be really not healthy and really jacked up more than likely. 
and it's gonna really suck when you cut that egg open and think you had something awesome or you see the hey you I mean honestly most of the time when they're jacked up like that they don't even cut the egg so you'd have to cut the egg for them and pull it out and very likely they're gonna be kinked up so I would strongly recommend against that for any newbies and anybody that doesn't want to have a great deal of disappointment in the process of achieving a healthy example of that morph but yeah okay uh, i think that's about it i'm pretty sure we named this guy but i can't remember anymore but anyhow this guy's not going anywhere i may do some more videos with him just because i think he's kind of cool guy but um, definitely not something that i aim for here at olympian exotics um, to have these you know genetic issues and i'm not going to do any more super cinnamon super black pastel or cinnamon black pastel pairings um, if i can avoid it so hope you guys learned something hope you guys have um, a similar opinion to this let me know what you guys think if you disagree and you're like no i should do whatever i want i mean i think you should but you know just be prepared for the risks involved i just want everybody to be informed so let me let me know about your experiences with uh, these similar issues or if you haven't had these issues or if you found ways to avoid the issues i'd love to hear what you have to say okay well i think that's about all i have to say hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching